Praise be to Jesus Christ, dear children. This whole year, we are going to learn about the source of divine life, who is God, and how He invites each one of us to have the divine life with Him. Today, we will learn how sin breaks our relationship with God in chapter 3. Before we start our class, let us have a small prayer. I want all of you to keep your back straight. Join your hands, close your eyes and prepare yourself for the prayer. Please repeat after me. God, our loving Father, give us the grace to be closer to you and always be away from sin. Amen. Before we start this lesson, let us have a quick recap of the previous chapter. What did we learn in chapter 2? Do you all remember? Yes, we learned about Adam and Eve, our first parents. They were given a beautiful garden, the garden of Eden, to live in peace and happiness, in closeness with God. But what did they do? They disobeyed God. Instead of obeying God's command, they listened to the advice of the Satan. Because of this, they committed sin. And immediately they felt ashamed of themselves and hid themselves from God's eyes. And finally, God punished them. God is a loving father and he always takes care of us. He wants us to grow as good people. And for that, we are to obey his commands, not once, but always. Now, in chapter 3, we will understand that when we sin, we offend God. What does offend God mean? It means we make God unhappy with our actions. He is sad that He gave us all such good life and what we are doing, we are not being obedient to Him. And God does not like this because we are His beloved children. In the book of Genesis chapter 3, Verse 11 and 12 we read, God asked Adam, Did you eat the fruit of that tree which I had forbidden? Adam said, The woman whom you gave me as companion, she offered me that fruit and I ate it. See, when our first parents, Adam and Eve, they committed sin and what they started doing? They began to experience shame, uneasiness, fear and lack of peace. We also see that they start blaming each other. Did you all notice that children? When our first parents, Adam and Eve sinned, what did they start doing? They started playing blame game. They started blaming each other. When we sin, do we also feel the same thing? Yes. When we sin, we feel shameful. We feel afraid of things. We try to hide. We won't be able to look into the eyes and talk. And we start blaming others. In our family, when we fight with brothers and sisters sometimes, or when we do something wrong, what we do? We try to put the blame on others. Do we? Sometimes. Or when we break 
or steal things don't we feel ashamed and tell lies to cover it up the bad deeds what we have done so did you understand that when we sin we feel afraid we are afraid to talk to our parents or the elders we feel like hiding we try to put the blame on others isn't that a bad feeling my dear children so you must all remember not to commit sin we must obey god and we must obey our parents and elders do you all know what happened to adam and eve after they committed the grave sin and started hiding from god and blaming each other god punished them our first parents adam and eve were asked to leave the garden of eden such a sad state they had all the happiness in the garden they didn't have to worry about anything they could be with god all the time but they lost it all just because they committed a grave sin their life was very easy when they lived in the garden of eden but when they went away from god they had to make many difficulties they had to face many hardships in their life they had to face a lot of pain and trouble they had to work hard in the field to grow food they had to work in hot sun sleep in rough places and after some time god gave them two children you all know the name of adam and eve's children yes you are right they named the first child cain and the second child abel do you know what was their profession You are right. Cain was a farmer and Abel was a shepherd. Yes. But children, the wickedness runs in the family. Cain and Abel had to work hard every day. Cain used to do farming and grow crops for food. Where Abel used to look after the sheep and goats for milk wool and for food they both were very hard working one day they decided to offer some gifts to god but did you know that cain was very cunning and abel was an innocent young man yes do you know what did cain do he offered a small part of his grain that too not good once and our innocent abel offered the best of his sheep as offering to god can you tell me whose offering did god accept you are right god accepted the offering of abel tell me children what must be the reason for god to accept only abel's offering yes you are absolutely right god accepted abel's offering because he offered his best fruit of his hard work did god accept cain's offering no God did not accept the offering from Cain as his offering was not sincere. God knew that Cain was offering something which was not good. So my dear children, did you all understand what happened here? What do we learn from this? Think about it. When we make offering to God, we must offer very sincerely. God is looking for sincere and pure heart. 
when we offer something you have to offer very sincerely from the bottom of your heart let us do an action song dear children our god is everywhere isn't it imagine if god is watching you will you ever sin definitely not through this action song you will learn about this shall we watch yes Jumping, jumping up and down when you're spinning, spinning round and round. God seeing everything you do, 'cause He's watching, watching over you. Hey, God is watching, watching over you, 24/7 watching over you. Your life is in His hands. Whoa, whoa, He's got great big plans 'cause He's watching over you. Did you enjoy the action song? I can read that from your smile. I must say that you all are very energetic and enthusiastic children. Let us take a decision that we won't sin. Our God is watching over us and we should not make our God sad by committing any kind of sin. Now, let us do a nice activity this week. I want all of you to listen very attentively. You may write it down if you wish. So, you have to take a paper plate and some chart papers. You have to make as per this picture. There is a very meaningful verse. God saved Daniel from the lion's den. And he saves us from sin and death through his son Jesus. children i want all of you to do this activity take a picture share it with your teacher before you come for the next class now we shall conclude today's class with a small prayer i want all of you to join your hands close your eyes and do repeat after me thank you lord for helping me to learn many things help me not to commit any sin in my daily life and always obedient to your commands amen we will meet again next week dear children to learn the second part of this lesson praise be to jesus christ